Well, hi, John. It's a, it's a real honor for me to be with you and sit with you here today and, and talk. Um, you're, a, you're a teacher, a philosopher, you're home base in Edmonton, you, you have a school, the School of Integrated Philosophy, um, and you teach all over the world. We're in New York right now, and this is the first time speaking, meeting in New York. So, so really, I'd like to talk with you, converse with you about your teachings, um, what they are, the direct implications of that. You have this really um, beautiful book you've, you've, that just came out while you were here in New York, uh, The Intelligence of Love, and it's really a very um, direct, that distills the essence of your teaching. So before we explore that, I'd let you distill the essence, the core values of, of what you speak. That most of what there is uh, to reality, we're, we're accustomed to being in physical reality, and we relate to physical reality through ourselves. Uh, but really, reality is made of uh, all of the deeper levels of reality, which isn't immediately comprehended in our relationship with physical reality. And to come into these deeper levels of reality, we can't do that from outside of ourselves. Uh, to recognize that, we need to awaken within and gain access to our own being. Uh, all of the levels of our being represent the deeper levels of reality. As we come into them, then we begin to be able to interface with those same deeper levels of our own being uh, outside of ourselves in everything else within physical reality. Yeah, so, so the subtitle of your book, Manifesting Your Being in This World, I mean, that's ultimately coming from being, beingness versus, versus the, the, the trappings of self. Is that a um, way we could also say that? Yeah. The, the, the self is um, really important. Um, mm -hmm. Accessing the being and coming into our own, our, our own being doesn't undermine ourselves. What it does undermine is uh, our conditioned relationship with ourselves. It's that relationship that needs to come apart. Mm -hmm. uh, the investment in, in our way of relating to ourselves is what hinders uh, the return to the heart and from within the heart accessing the whole being. Yeah, so, and, and to get to the essence of the heart, then, then a person needs to be with honesty and, and knowing, would you say that, the core importance of, of what you speak about? Yes. For awareness, uh, to return to being pure awareness, that's conditioned on awareness being not just honest, uh, but a, a core honesty and a, a core splitting honesty. Mm -hmm. So really, that that's you know one of the, the getting to the core of your teaching, and and so your your desire in the meetings is to help people achieve that or, or, or be on that path. Um, and, and so at your, at your meetings, there's periods of silence, periods of questioning. Would you say there at the meetings, this, in the silence, there, there's a transmission that, that goes on? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> and, and would you say this transmission, are you emitting from your heart from your being into, into someone's heart into their being or yes to all the above I'm transmitting from what I've embodied mm -hmm. uh, without the embodiment then uh, at best there would be just a, a channeling uh, so as a as a person, uh, from within my person, mm -hmm. I'm moving as a being. 
so that the transmission of what I'm being, uh, that's of greater value than the words. Mm-hmm. The, the real power of the words is the transmission that's in it. Mm-hmm. What would you encourage people who want to be on this um, path of, of beingness? To realize through a, a, a most quiet, profound honesty within uh, what, is, what does one actually know the truth of, mm-hmm. aside from everything that's been learned. Uh, aside from beliefs uh, that have been adopted or beliefs uh, that have been come into. Uh, what does one actually know the truth of and then be uh, to be in direct response to that? So then the relationship between awareness and knowing becomes cleaned and comes back together. Mm-hmm. When awareness is in response to what it knows, it's then one with what it knows. Yeah, and, and in a way to recognize the habitual uh, conditioning and, and what is conditioning and what is more awareness. Um, What's a, a learned and acquired knowledge and what is a direct knowledge mm-hmm. where you directly know the truth of something that isn't dependent on any kind of learning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's a that's a really a profound teaching. That's why I said reading your book, uh, The Intelligence of Love, that it's just very simple in a, in a direct way, getting away from languaging and trying to, in a way, transmit your, your teachings um, on these pages, not only by words, but the space in between the words. I think you've done a, a masterful job, even in the book, of doing that. Yeah, so, so I thank you very much, John, for um, taking the time um, and, and sitting with me. Thank you, and it's lovely meeting. <laughs>